Hello everybody, welcome to my helmet review. I'm going to review my Shui X12 um, race helmet. This is the helmet that I use to race road racing. And um, so this will be moved aside and this will be moved in. Yeah, so this is the mark has um, colorway, so to speak. And uh, before this X12, I had a, another X12. Um, I crashed pretty heavily in that that helmet, so I got a I got this one and st to replace it. So I like to give a ride report and also a crash report. So. Just a little background on uh, me and Shui helmets. I, my very first helmet was a Shui helmet. It was like an RF 1000 or something, way back in the day, probably 10 years ago. I remember low siding on the street with that helmet and I came head first into a lamppost. I smacked my head in this, in this region here and I knocked out. Um, I woke up, I have no idea how long I was out for. I woke up the next day, I was fine. I was like 18 or 19 years old. I probably should have went to get an MRI. I did not get, I don't recall having headaches or anything like that, but I always attributed um, like me sort of still being here because I had a expensive up high-end helmet on my head at the time. So ever since then, I've sort of just stuck to Shui helmets. Um, I started racing actually f six years after that. So there's a big time off. So when I began racing about six years ago, I, I immediately went to the Shui top of line helmet, which was their X11 back then. Anyways, so the design of this helmet is I quite like. It's quite aggressive. It's got the rear spoiler here. Um, it's sort of integrated. Uh, it's, it's flexible. You can see how it just pushes in like that. That's meant to be like that because in the event that you crash on this section of the helmet, you don't want this to um, concentrate the force of impact on this area. So it's, actually, it's meant to sort of just break and collapse and snap probably right off if you do actually hit your head on this area. So it's not that it's made cheaply or anything, anything so keep that in mind. Um, it is an aerodynamic purpose to increase drag on the back because when you're fully tucked, you are like this. Um, so the, the, the air basically flows over top better. Um, on the track, it's, I don't really care how noisy my helmets are um, because I, I wear earplugs when I race. This, this is the purpose of this uh, helmet. I always, in my other two reviews um, on my gear, I always uh, start off by saying that, you know, and I end by saying that these companies make these helmets for a purpose um, because I race, I'm, I'm, I'm getting their top of line race helmet and they're designed for racing. Um, I have used this on the street before when I used to ride on the street and n noise level I can't really compare to other helmets. I can say it's, it's bearable. Uh, cruising at 120 kilometers an hour on the highway, it, I didn't feel I needed earplugs, but I only work about 25 minutes away from home. So if you have longer rides, it might be, it might be different. Um, so let's, let's, I mean, the features on a helmet, the, I mean, it's just a helmet, so you have air ventilation here, you have air ventilation here, and more air ventilation up here, and uh, here comes out, and you also have ventilation here. Um, again, there's a lot of good, like, old reviews type of things online that go through all, like, the um, features, you know, your brow ventilation, and how it flows through inside your skull, and all that BS that you really fucking don't 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 care about <laughs> really. Um, how does it actually work in a crash? And how does it fit your head is probably the more more important thing. Um, so when I crashed in this helmet, not in this helmet, but my other X12, it was 
pretty fast and it was pretty, pretty gnarly. Uh, I was on an R6 and I just overshot a corner so I had to stand it up but the track I was at had absolutely zero runoff so I hit the grass and the barrier was coming super fast so I actually had to bail and what I ended up doing was face planting my face into the ground sort of barrel rolled hit the barrier probably I think I hit my head against the barrier too and uh, I was pretty sore after that. Um, I don't really recall having any headaches or anything like that. Um, I crashed again in that, hel in that helmet. And again, I've been lucky not to really have any hard impacts on my, on my helmet. Um, I guess I just roll well or fall well, as they say. But uh, when I did face plant, I mean, this was all scuffed. This whole Chemba area is, is scuffed. I had no damage or or abrasions on my chin or anything, so I think I think Shoei designed the helmet quite well. Like this profile here comes down enough that it protects your chin if you do come into like a, a face plant. And yeah, um, for for fit, I I don't really know what kind of face I have or head I have. If it's long or oval or whatever, um, I I can comment that. The Shoei helmet, I mean, the lining is not very comfortable. It's, it's quite, compared to other helmets, other helmet brands, especially the European brands, it's not very comfortable in terms of touch and feel against your skin. It's pretty abrasive. It's, it's not like the other helmet brands that you see, the Euro brands, they use like a suede material. They don't do that. And even on their $800 helmets, Shoei, they don't do that. Um, I don't, again, <laughs> I don't think it's a big deal. It's it's definitely not as like, ooh, luxury, it's cool. But at the same time, when you're riding or racing, in, uh, I don't think that really matters too much. Another big reason why I buy Shoei helmets for my race helmet is because of their emergency pullout tabs. So if you're knocked out and the medical unit doesn't know what type of injury you sustained, perhaps your neck or back, and they need to remove your helmet safely, they just pull these tabs and all your, if you if you pull this out, then all your lining just comes out, and then what that does is it create like a, a large opening for them to easily just pull pull your helmet off. So it does that like that. So they don't so they don't so it reduces it minimizes the risk of damaging your neck and like stretching it or pull, putting force on it while you're unconscious and knocked out. Yet they need to remove your helmet. I don't know why other helmet companies don't do this. It's such a simple feature that can potentially uh, not save your life, but I mean, it can it can prevent a lot of harm, extra harm to you. Um, this is another reason why I, I do use Joey helmets. So overall, I'm I'm very happy like with with this helmet. Um, it's it's an excellent shape because I don't I didn't really get to use it too much. This year, um, my racing is pretty limited. The color, it looks, they look so much, one thing I can definitely say is it looks so much better in person than they do in photos, like especially with the colorway. Uh, on photos, everything sort of looks sort of bland, but like in person, I mean, the helmets, they look really, really good. Really good. Shoei's paint jobs are definitely top notch. Um, their visors, like the, I feel like the eye port is very, very good, very wide. They haven't changed this, this uh, visor system in a while, so it's nothing new. Um, they have that fog insert, and I can tell you it works. I mean, you'll, you'll never fog up on a showy visor with the fog insert. Um, the only one, the one thing that I, I do want to mention is if you are going to race with this helmet and you want to use tear-offs, I cannot, for the life of me, find the full visor tear-offs. Um, though the ones that I find are, I think they're just like the ones that cut across, so that, that create a line here um, in, your, in your vision. I, I don't know why, I've been looking for tear-offs forever and I sort of just given up. Like it just, I mean, tear-offs are good because they protect, they protect your visor <laughs> and visors are expensive. I mean, my other visors, are, they're so pitted with stone chips and they're like a hundred and something dollars for a visor, I'd rather just pay a couple bucks 
20 bucks here and there for, for tear-offs, but uh, my road racing days are probably coming to an end, so I probably won't be getting tear-offs, but just keep, it, keep that in mind. And um, I think that's about it. I think it's a, it's a really, really good helmet, and in comparison, the, his, one of the biggest competitors for Shui, if you're going to compare Jap, Jap brands to a Jap brand, is like the Arai Corsair 5 or whatever. I've had one of those before, and um, I'm not, I honestly, I want to like that helmet. I actually think the helmet looks a little bit cooler than this one, um, but the quality is, is night and day. And the Shui is just so much better in quality than the Arai, and the Arai costs even more. So, um, if you might be wondering why, why I think it's higher quality, uh, when I pick the helmet up and I can sort of move it around and just and just sort of like shake it around and stuff like that, you don't hear anything on the shoes. But on the Arai, I mean, I was hearing like creaking noises and all sorts of weird stuff going on, and that really freaks me out when it comes to build quality. Um, I don't. I just. I mean, for like a grand after taxes, no thank you. I don't want creaking noises in my helmet. So, yeah, uh, I tried it. Tried to like an awry, don't. Um, but uh, the, the showies, they, you definitely, uh, if you, you should know that helmet should be tight on your head. And a uh, showy might be sort of uncomfortable at first. And they definitely take time to break in showy helmets. Um, they take a couple hours of your sweat in there to break in, so don't go too large on a showy. Make sure you get something that's really, really snug to your head, borderline uncomfortable when it's brand new. Um, it's always a shock for me, and I've been wearing, I have like five or six showy helmets, and every single time I get a new one, it's a shock just how snug it is on my head. I don't try them on, I just buy their mediums because I know that's what fits me, but it's still a little bit of a shock how tight they are and then you know you wear it a couple hours and then it, it breaks it breaks in so uh, don't be alarmed there so yeah i hope that helps uh, your helmet decision and um thanks for watching